The Life of a Banknote The first notes appeared in China between the 10th and 11th centuries, during the Song Dynasty. The purpose was to facilitate trade and dispense with the need to carry large amounts of coins. In the Western world, the first country to issue banknotes was Sweden in 1661. And later, England. In Portugal, various paper documents accepted as payment circulated since the Middle Ages, such as promissory notes and bills of exchange. And later, receipts or certificates of deposit from the Casa da Moeda, the National Mint, issued during the reign of Dom Pedro II. Shares of selected companies, created during the reign of Don José. Royal Treasury Bills, which began during the reign of Dona Maria I. The first Portuguese banknotes were issued in Reis by the Banco de Lisboa in 1822, during the reign of Don Juan VI. Banco de Lisboa was housed in Lisbon City Hall at the time. In 1835, Banco Comercial do Porto was established, which also issued its own banknotes after 1836. They were similar in appearance to those of Banco de Lisboa. In 1846, with the merger of Banco de Lisboa and Compañía Confiança Nacional, Banco de Portugal was established with the privilege of issuing banknotes throughout Portugal. The first banknotes were issued in 1847 using paper that still bore the watermark of the Banco de Lisboa. Following this, other banks began issuing banknotes too. It was only in 1891 that Banco de Portugal effectively became the only issuing bank in the country. The establishment of the Republic in 1910 brought with it a new monetary system, adopting the Escudo as the currency in 1911. The Escudo remained in circulation until 2002, when the Euro was introduced as currency. The last note in Escudos, bearing the image of João de Barros, a famous Portuguese historian, was issued in 1997. Throughout its history, Banco de Portugal has always sought to issue banknotes of high aesthetic value, inviting accomplished artists to create the designs. Among these designers were Domingos Antonio de Sequeira, a notable artist and the court's official painter who designed and created the first banknotes for the Banco de Lisboa. Eugène Mouchon, João de Souza Araújo, creator of the prototypes for the banknotes issued in the 1960s and 70s. More recently, Luis Felipe de Abreu, renowned artist and professor at the School of Fine Arts in Lisbon, was, since 1980, responsible for the artistic creation of the series of banknotes in Escudos dedicated to figures of Portuguese culture and the Age of Discoveries. Do verso da nota de 10 mil escudos do Infanto Henrique, o meu desenho foi baseado numa reconstituição bastante rigorosa feita por especialistas da de náutica desta época. Since the arrival of the Euro in January 2002, the production of banknotes has been coordinated by the European Central Bank. The ECB confers the responsibility for the production of banknotes to the central banks of each country, which in turn contract accredited printers for the task. In the case of Portugal, banknotes are printed by Valora, a company wholly owned by Banco de Portugal. The process involves three distinct stages – offset, intaglio and numbering. First. Images of banknotes are transferred to offset printing plates. For offset printing, the paper or substrate used is purchased from certified companies that already provide some embedded security features. In the offset machine, the substrate is printed on both sides simultaneously. Following offset, the substrate is sent to the intaglio printing machine, 
which applies high pressure to create a base relief image with volume, texture and shadow essential for verifying the authenticity of the note and for its recognition by the visually impaired. Finally, to number the banknotes, a typographic printing machine is used to give each note a unique identification. After which the substrate is cut into banknotes, which are counted automatically and separated into bundles of a thousand. All the material used in the different stages of printing banknotes is subject to strict quality control, achieved with accurate measuring equipment, capable of detecting the slightest anomaly. Once the process is completed, the banknotes are packed and delivered to the Banco de Portugal. After being checked once again, they are stored in vaults for safekeeping. And it is here that they await entry into circulation, according to the needs of the national economy within the context of the euro system. The banknotes are brought into circulation when financial institutions withdraw them from the treasury of the Banco de Portugal. The transport of these banknotes is provided by specialized companies and later distributed among bank branches and ATMs. In addition to receiving the banknotes printed by Valora, Banco do Portugal is also a repository of banknotes, such as surplus banknotes in circulation, sent by financial institutions. These banknotes are checked one by one, using machines that count them individually, authenticate them and test their quality. Once validated, the banknotes that pass the test are put back into circulation, whereas those that are rejected are destroyed, compressed into briquettes and used as fuel in the production of energy. When counterfeit banknotes are detected, Banco de Portugal submits them to a thorough analysis, registering them and classifying them in a specific data system, managed and shared on a Eurosystem level, and with other agencies specialized in the prevention and fight against counterfeiting. Banco do Portugal also provides a public service directly to citizens by replacing damaged banknotes. Banco do Portugal is also responsible for training and qualifying professional cash handlers, as well as running awareness raising and training actions for different audiences. In complying with this wide range of activities, Banco de Portugal safeguards the credibility of banknotes circulating in the country, ensuring the confidence of the public. <laughs>